Hello! In this video I would like to show you how to uh, send parameter, uh, how to send array by parameter from JavaScript to MVC controller. Let's get started. This is, will be very little but very interesting tip. So let's take a look on our uh, JavaScript file. I already created this one and uh, in this place we have uh, one uh, hyperlink and uh, click event attach it to this link. This is simple Ajax post and uh, all data sent to home controller uh, and in controller we have parameter first name and last name. Ok, let's check it out. Ok, let's take a look on this. Build solution. Put break ok, breakpoint is here. Open the browser. Attach to this process. Our pool attach. Ok. So, if uh, we are clicking by this link, we can see in this place first name Johnny and last name Cage. So it's very simple. Two para, uh, two uh, first name and last name were, were sended by this in this uh, data attribute by using jQuery Ajax. Ajax. So, but if uh, we need to send also third parameter like uh, books for instance and we should send books array let's do this okay so stop the bug let's add for instance books and this is will be array as you can see we haven't problem um, we haven't problem with uh, sending uh, just simple string parameter. But in case if we we are going to send parameter like array, let's take a look on this book book one book two. Okay, and let's add this parameter to controller. It will be string books oops books okay let's build solution attach to process okay so we have books parameter let's update page and click link we have first name, last name, first name, last name, and books is null. So why it happens? First reason, uh, first of all, let's take a look on uh, what we have in request, in C sharp context, in controller context. Let's take a look uh, local tab, open this open base and open request so in this place we can see something like this form we can copy this open text editor put it here so this is means that uh, from browser we have something like this this is first name this is just simple URL first name Johnny last name cage but in book in case this books uh, we have something like books this is encoded brackets books one books encoded brackets books one 
basically it's you uh, let's take a look in uh, the browser we have network open my action and take a look at the bottom we have uh, first name last name and parameter books with brackets books with brackets so isp.net mvc model binder can't bind uh, parameter like this uh, uh, to fix this we should uh, set one attribute in uh, our javascript file which names traditional true let's take a look true traditional true this attribute uh, say to jQuery please uh, use another format of URL when we refresh page and click send send array to controller we can see that that this action was encoded a little to a little bit different format like first name last name and books without brackets books without brackets we can open controller oh let's attach to process can open controller and click send array so in this case we have first name last name and oh books this is first book and second book so if we take a look at this parameter base and uh, request and form so in this case we can copy this this is old our request and this is new our request let's delete this so we can see that in this case we have a little bit different URL that can be binded to array by, by ASP.NET uh, model binder because before it was like books with brackets and uh, MVC uh, model binder will not bind this to draw to C sharp object but right now we have simple parameter books book one books book to so in this case it's been at that MVC binder can bind this so uh, to send uh, array by parameter to ASP.NET MVC controller we just have to use this is very useful uh, JavaScript attribute traditional tool so I hope you enjoy this video and that's it thanks